Good morning, Barstow. I'm Haley Turner. And I'm Enen Bejech. We have a busy show for you today, so sit back, relax, and roll the intro. Tonight at 7 is the Middle and Upper School Spring Program. If you can't make it out to watch the amazing performances, be sure to catch it on our Livestream account. Tomorrow is the Senior Kindergarten Celebration at 8.30, which will also be available on our Livestream. And if you are a student volunteer, please remember to show up. Another music program will take place on Friday at 9 for the 3rd and 4th grade Spring Program. Also on Friday is the 19th anniversary since the school shooting at Columbine. Project Identity has organized a non-mandatory walkout from 10 a.m. to 10.45 on the Shakespeare stage in Memorial. This coincides with a nationwide walkout organized to commemorate lost lives due to gun violence, where students and workers plan to walk out of their schools or offices at 10 a.m. Brooklyn Armit made a piece highlighting the March for Our Lives event, which stood for the same things. Let's check it out. spokeswoman said um, if you're too immature to carry a firearm you're too immature to make policy about firearms well here's the I, hold on uh, so, so right now in the, name, in, the name, in the name of 17 people you cannot ask the NRA to keep their money out of your campaign I think in the name of 17 people I can pledge to you that I will support any law that will prevent a killer like this no but I'm talking getting NRA a money no kids instead of looking to someone else to solve their problem do something about maybe taking CPR classes or trying to deal with with situations six minutes and about 20 seconds in a little over six minutes 17 of our friends were taken from us 15 were injured and everyone absolutely everyone in the Douglas community was forever altered Everyone who is there understands. Everyone who has been touched by the cold grip of gun violence understands. For us, long, tearful, chaotic hours in the scorching afternoon sun were spent not knowing. No one understood the extent of what had happened. No one could believe that there were bodies in that building waiting to be identified for over a day. represent the African American women who are victims of gun violence, who are simply statistics instead of vibrant, beautiful girls that pull up potential. Until we arm our teachers. We need to arm our teachers. We need to arm them with pencils, pens, paper, and the money they need. They need that money to support their families and to support themselves before they can support the futures in those classrooms, to support the future that sits down at that desk waiting to learn. And to those politicians supported by the NRA that allow the continued slaughter of our children and our future, I say get your resumes ready. Now is the time to come together, not as Democrats, not as Republicans, but as Americans. Americans of the same flesh and blood that care about one thing and one thing only, and that's the future of this country and the children that, that are going to lead it. So I need each and every one of you, no matter your age, to continue to fight alongside us because hearts cannot pump without blood, and I don't want your community to join the ghastly inner circle that mine is now a part of. Fight for your lives before it's someone else's job. Great piece. Let's head over to Aiden for a sports roundup. Our spring sports are all off to a great start. Last night, the girls soccer team beat Van Horn. They have a home game this Thursday at 4.30 against district and conference rivals Summit Christian. So please go cheer on the girls. The golf team has also been performing well this season while setting many personal bests. They play tomorrow night at 4 against Pembroke. Good luck, boys. 
The baseball team got their first win of the season on Saturday due to a great pitching and defensive effort. Wish them luck in their game tonight against Sherwood and come out and support them at home tomorrow at 5 against Kansas City Christian. The track team had their second meet of the season Monday night. Tao got first in the long jump, Tommy Gannon placed 5th in the 800, Sage Holmes got 5th in the mile, and Emma Nunnick also placed 6th in the 200 meter dash. They have their first and only home meet of the season this Friday at 1.30, so be sure to come out and cheer them on. The boys tennis team has also continued a great start to their season. In doubles, Bradley Fry and Brian King placed their cleanest doubles of the year, rolling to an 8-0 win. Demir Capen and Sunil Ryland came back from 3-6 down to rally back for a 9-7 win. Jordan Herwig and Sam Colombo fell behind early, but rallied for an 8-5 win. In singles, Bradley Fry dominated with another 8-0 win. Brian King took on their number one player and held on for a 8-6 win. Demir Capen showed off his new forehand for an 8-2 victory, while Sunil dominated with an 8-1 victory. Jordan Herwig rolled to an 8-2 win to wrap up the day with a 7-2 team win. We are excited to see what the rest of the season brings these teams. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Aiden. In other news today, the pre-K kiddos are headed to Deanna Rose Farmstead to see all the animals. Have fun. Tomorrow, the sixth graders head to the Kansas Cosmosphere to complete what they've been learning about space. Haley, have you been on any fun field trips lately? You know what, Helen? I have. Uh, last Friday, our AP Environmental Science class went to the water and sewage treatment plant. Let's check out some B-roll to see what we did. That looks like a lot of fun. It was, but it was super windy, which didn't really help out the smell. Let's head over to Caden to check out this week's weather. Hey everyone, welcome back to another weekly weather report. We're going to jump right into it. Currently it is around 45, but it feels a little bit colder and that can be accredited to the wind that we're seeing today. Um, later in the day, we're going to see around 3 o'clock, it's going to start warming up pretty significantly. And we're going to see temperatures that actually get in to the low 50s. Um, we're looking about a high of, of about 50 today. And that's going to stay around until about 6 o'clock and then it's going to drop again uh, with the sunset. Heading into the rest of the week, Tomorrow and Friday, we're going to see temperatures that continue to rise, even though we're going to see quite a bit, quite a bit of clouds. Um, those head in Thursday night into Friday, and then those clouds will stay around on Saturday as we're going to see some rain. Uh, there's about 60% chance of rain on Saturday. Heading into next week, that rain will bring warmer temperatures, though, and we're going to see some high 60s heading into the rest of next week. That's all I have for you today. Send it back to you at the news desk. Thanks, Caden. That's all we have for you today. I'm Haley Turner. And I'm Inan Berger. Have a great week and we'll see you on Monday.